Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking from the Elder Scrolls cookbook. And the recipe I've chosen for today is the Horker Loaf. Kind of like a meatloaf, but with an unusual ingredient in it. So with that being said, let's get in and figure out what ingredients we need to make, try and uh, pull this off. So the first thing we are going to need is my food processor bowl. And we need one large carrot. Uh peeled and diced up and we're going to dump that in. We also need five cloves of garlic, three of them I've left whole, and two of them I have minced up and those are going in the food processor bowl as well. Let me grab a scraper here. Get all those in there. And the last ingredient that is going in this is a can of a sm smoked oysters. Um, yeah, that's our unusual ingredient. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've personally never eaten smoked oysters, so I am not sure how they taste, but... If I can get the lid off without splashing it everywhere, that would be amazing. There we go. Now, it doesn't say to drain the oil off or anything, so we're going to dump it in. Probably we will need that to uh, help get this blitzed down into small pieces. Hopefully they'll add like a nice... Uh, smoky flavor to it without being too seafoody. All right, I'm going to get this blitzed up and I will be right back to add it into the rest of the ingredients. All right, I have got this blitzed up into uh, very real small pieces, so nothing big in there. Kind of helped break up the carrot and garlic as well a little bit more. Two, well, let me start with the hamburger. I've got about one and a half pounds of hamburger here and to this I'm going to add in one egg without the shell <laughs> and a third of a cup of heavy cream and we need breadcrumbs as well get the egg off my hand real quick. We're going to need a half of a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using ones that I dried myself, but store-bought works just as well. There we go. We're also going to need one teaspoon of the storm cloak seasoning that we made for the quiche. I will leave a ingredient list in the description of what all went in here. And I need we need one teaspoon of this. There's um, dried dill dried fennel seeds, grains of paradise, and mustard powder in here. We're also going to need one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. And our last ingredient is our blitzed up garlic, carrot, and smoked oysters. All right. 
let's get in there and mix this stuff up make sure you incorporate everything thoroughly into the meat without over mixing the meat if you over mix it it tends to get kind of dry you just want to get everything incorporated kind of squeeze it in between your hands or your fingers to help mix it all in make sure you flip it over and continue uh, mixing it in while I'm doing this let me remind you guys of the gamers and geeks playlist that Japica Death and I have going on on our channels if you would like to become a part of that it's quite simple all you need to do is go out make a cooking video and then post it to your channel once you've done that let either Japica Death or I know either through a comment in our latest cooking video or if you're a part of his discord server on that platform we've had a lot of really great submissions some of them I've had a chance to try out and let me tell you they all have turned out fabulous so I hope you guys will consider uh, participating in that but I think for now I've got this all uh, stirred in let me grab my pan I have a cookie pan here that I've lined with parchment paper I'm just gonna dump that right out on there and it says to form it into a kind of round oblong shape. <laughs> Let me flip this around a little bit without getting it everywhere. So I guess kind of kind of like that. And then in the top, let me pull my cracks together there alright that looks good on the top we are going to add in the last three pieces of garlic in the form of the horker tusks if you don't know what a horker is it's kind of like a Skyrim version of a walrus kind of have them pointing in like that and for our last touch we are going to add five strips of bacon to the top of this just like that and then the last one will go over top of the garlic to prevent it from burning I'm gonna get my hands washed up put this in the oven for about 40 minutes at 425 degrees and I'll bring you guys back for the gravy that I'm gonna make to go along with this dish so let me get cleaned up get this in the oven and I'll see you over at my stove all right I am gonna be making the imperial mushroom sauce from the Elder Scrolls cookbook as well in my pan here I've already melted down two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna add in a, a 10 ounces of mushrooms you can use fresh for this I didn't have any fresh ones so I'm just using fresh ones that I've canned myself I'm gonna just warm them up a little bit and then I'll add in my flour turn my heat up and I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of flour to this I'm using wonder flour you can use you know regular flour it works just as well but I find the the wonder flour works so much better when you're making a gravy and I just like to kind of sprinkle it around prevent it from clumping up we're just gonna let the mushrooms warm up here and the flour kind of cook down a little bit 
to remove that raw flower taste. It shouldn't take very long. I find that Wonder Flower doesn't need as long to um, cook down as regular AP flour does. You just want to be careful not to let this burn. Okay, at this point I'm going to add a splash of white wine vinegar. Eh, maybe two splashes. <laughs> and give this a stir in. And I'm going to add in a half a cup of, I've got mushroom stock today, but you could certainly use chicken stock, mushroom, or uh, beef stock, or veggie stock for this. Now we just need to stir this until our sauce thickens up and the flour gets stirred in. actually might add a tad bit more broth to that. Seems a little bit thick to me. A couple more tablespoons. There we go. Give it a little bit more sauce than what it had. And don't be afraid to adjust these recipes as you see fit and what works for your family. That looks better. I added probably another, I don't know, eighth of a cup of mushroom broth to that. And now it's looking a little bit saucier. Alright, let's get our seasoning in here. And today I'm using their uh, Imperial Seasoning Mix. It is three teaspoons of dried marjoram, three teaspoons of dried savory, one teaspoon of coriander seed, and a fourth of a teaspoon of white pepper. And of this, we are going to use one teaspoon. There we go. And we can just stir this straight in. And again, with these seasonings, adjust them according to what you and your family like. Sometimes I find in these, um, in the Elder Scrolls, as well as the Fallout cookbook, the seasonings that, or the amount of seasonings that they recommend tends to be a little bit stronger than what I normally use. So a lot of times I end up cutting it back by a fourth to a half the amount of seasoning they call for. All right. All we need now is two tablespoons of heavy cream. Whoop, and I splashed it everywhere. Let me just stir this in. And let's give it a quick taste and adjust it for any additional salt or pepper that we need. Let's give it a good pinch of salt. I don't cook my mushrooms with salt, so it definitely needs it, and it definitely needs a little bit of black pepper as well. That is actually pretty good. I think I'm still going to add in a tad bit more of the mushroom stock. It still seems a little bit thick to me. There we go. That's starting to look a lot better. All right, I think this is done. As soon as the potatoes are done, I will get all of this plated up for you guys, and we'll find out how the uh, pork or loaf tastes. So give me a few minutes to get all that, and I will meet you at my other counter. <clears throat> Okay, our horka loaf is out of the oven, and I've let it rest for about 10 minutes here on the counter. About uh, three-fourths of the way through the cookie time, I did put a sheet of aluminum foil over the top just to prevent the bacon from burning. 
but other than that it took about 40 minutes for this to cook let's uh get a slice of it here and i'll get it plated up i think we'll just uh take a little slice here off the end all right let's get this out of our way here And I'll bring the plate over for you guys. I'm going to grab a little bit of the gravy that we made. I will just stick it right on top of the uh, mashed potatoes there. There we go. Looks pretty good. Alright, let's get in here and give this a taste and see how it turned out. I'm really curious about how those oysters did. Hmm. Surprisingly, you cannot taste the oyster at all. It does give it a slightly smoky flavor without it being fishy, which is what I was kind of concerned about. But yeah, I think I would make this again. I kind of like this one. I'm going to go in for another nibble real quick. It pairs really well with the Imperial uh, Mushroom Gravy. But there you have it, Horker Loaf with Imperial Mushroom Gravy. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Remember to check out the Skyrim playlist as well as the Gamers and Geek playlist. I will leave links in the description to those. Now, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one. <laughs>